Hi, welcome to this presentation introducing you to Roots Magic 8. This is a brief overview of how to navigate in Roots Magic 8. If you are a Roots Magic 7 user, the first thing you need to know is that Roots Magic 8 is a new software download. It will not overwrite your Roots Magic 7 software and it will not overwrite your Roots Magic 7 file or other versions. When you open Roots Magic 8, you will see a menu on the left-hand side of the screen. While on the home screen, you will notice several window menus on your screen. First, we have the Roots Magic Files menu. From here, you can open or download existing files or create a new file. Below that are recently opened files. Once you have opened files in Roots Magic 8, you will see them here. You can click on the one you want to open to enter your family tree file. The news menu are updates sent to the software automatically from Roots Magic. When you click on these, it will open in a new window in your browser. Under the help and support menu, you can click on a topic and again, a new window in your browser will open, taking you to the topic. I highly recommend watching the online tutorials. When an update is available, it will show up under the Update menu. Be sure to run updates as soon as they appear so your software will work efficiently. One reason you might see the dreaded unexpected error message is if your software is not up to date. This error can occur for other reasons, so I click on Send Error Report when it occurs so the developers can keep helpful updates coming. Now let's Go over how to run the update. Click on the updates available when the menu shows up. This window will open. Click OK and follow the prompts to update Roots Magic. The program will close while running the update and then reopen when it is done. After restarting, you will see that your software is up to date. Now let's go over how to manage file options. When you click on new file, this window will open. There are three options. Start an empty file, import from another program. This includes previous versions of Roots Magic. Again, this will not overwrite your previous versions file. A brand new Roots Magic file from the suffix.rm tree will be created for your Roots Magic 8 software. The old Roots Magic file extension will remain and you can always open it on the old software whenever you want to. Last, you can download from an online tree. Click on the option you want and follow the prompts. Open file will give you the same options that you see under recent files. Import file will open several options for you to choose from to import from another program. When you click on this, you will see these options appear. Here you can see the names of other programs like Family Origins, Family Tree Maker, um, The Master Genealogist, PATH, Legacy Family Tree, programs that you can import trees from, including versions one through seven of Roots Magic. Under Download a Tree, this is where you can download your tree from Family Search or Ancestry. When you click on this option, you will see this window open. Click on the service you want to download from. You will need to sign in to these services and follow the prompts to import your tree from these sites. From the file menu, you can create a new file. You can open an existing Roots Magic 8 file. You can restore from a Roots Magic 8 backup and you can learn about Roots Magic to go. When you click on this option, it will open a web browser that tells you about this feature. The settings menu will walk you through some options you as an individual user can choose. First are the program settings. Check and uncheck the box next to the descriptions to toggle options on and off. Next are the folder settings. Here you can designate where data is stored and pulled from. The little white arrow in the top left 
will collapse the menu on the left hand side to give you more real estate to work with on your screen. Here you can see it collapsed, but you can still see the menu icons. Click on the white arrow again anytime you want to expand the menu. On the top right hand of the window are three dots or ellipses. Clicking here will open some options, many of which are also found on the home menu. Here they are. Just know that you can get to these options here too. You can go here for help, check for updates, learning center, register your Roots Magic program, technical support, visiting rootsmagic.com, and about Roots Magic. Once you open a Roots Magic 8 file, you will see more options available to you under the file menu. This is where you go to back up your file, import data, export data, find additional tools, and close the file. You can also close the file when you click on the X in the top right hand corner. Also in the top right hand corner, note that a new icon has appeared next to the ellipses. This is your command palette. When you click on the command palette, it will open this window. Here you can search for and see various commands and keyboard short shortcuts available within Roots Magic 8. The people menu is where you view your tree. I will do a deep dive look into each of these menu items in, in other presentations, but to keep this one brief and go over the, the main points, we'll just kind of review really quickly and get a preview of each of those screens. Places, you will see the names of the places in your tree. One thing you can do here is make corrections and combine similar place names that should all be the same. Under sources, you can access all of the sources that you've entered and make changes or updates to those as well through, uh, through this menu option. This will be a fun one to explore in more detail too. Your media files can be accessed under the media menu. Here you can create a to-do list, prioritize the list, and update the status. Here you can insert addresses. As you can see, this is a feature that I haven't spent a lot of time using, but I hope to look more into it in the future as well. If this is a feature that you use and like, you can be happy that it is still available to you in Roots Magic 8. The search menu can be a powerful way to navigate around your tree and find specific people. Under the Publish tab, you can print reports, charts, and publish data online. You can also create a shareable drive of your Roots Magic tree to share with others. You will notice that there are several more icons under the Settings menu. Some examples of settings are how the screen is displayed, colors, font sizes, standard entry styles, etc. On the bottom left are icons to sign into and access Family Search and Ancestry. Here's a preview of the Family Search Windows tools. And when you click on the Ancestry window, this is where it will prompt you to sign into Ancestry so that you can compare your trees back and forth. Have fun getting to know Roots Magic 8. If you've been using versions 1 through 7, there is definitely a learning curve to adjust. But be patient with yourself and with the program, and spend time in the program, and you will get used to the new changes found in version 8. Thank you for tuning in to this presentation, and if you have any questions, you're welcome to email me, and I will get back to you. Thank you.